such turbulent times. Mola, thank you. We want to turn now to South Korea, where the death toll now tops 150 in the crush of people who were out celebrating Halloween. Many of the victims suffocated in narrow alleyways. Today, families rushed to community centers, anxious for news about their loved ones. And we've learned at least two Americans are among the dead, including a student from the University of Kentucky. ABC's Matt Gutman reports in tonight from Seoul. In Seoul tonight, what started as a joyous Halloween street festival ending with screams. Those terrifying crowd surges and that image of first responders desperately trying to revive dozens of victims. Officials estimate more than 100,000 revelers packed the streets of the Itaewon neighborhood famed for its nightlife. Officials saying that at least 153 of them are dead tonight. 37 more in critical condition. The revelers were coming by the thousands from each side, down below here, and from both sides up above. And this alley is just 14 feet wide. There was nowhere for anyone to go. American Janelle's story was right in the middle of the crush. Oh my God, oh my God. Courting what ultimately became one of the deadliest crowd crushes in decades. I just saw in front of me this mass of people running and pushing and screaming and, and like panicking. Janelle made it out, but Australian Nathan Tavernity's friend swallowed up. I reached my, so both of my friend's hands. Yerim Kim, she was at the bottom. And I just was grabbing her hand saying, I'm going to get you out. But then she disappeared. This video showing unconscious young people being carried through the crowd. Shoes missing from their seemingly lifeless bodies. It was nearly an hour before first responders were able to wade in at around 11 p.m. And then the emergency services arrived and they were just pulling bodies out and just dumping them on the street. Rows of rescuers performing CPR on some of the fallen. For many, it was too late. The deceased, many still in their costumes, put in those blue body bags lining the street. Upon hearing the tragic news, relatives collapsing on the ground. The State Department confirming two Americans died, one a nursing student from the University of Kentucky. The President and First Lady tweeting today, our hearts go out to their loved ones in this time of grief. One man says that he was trapped on a ledge just watching people die. Matt Gutman joins us now live from Seoul. Matt, South Korean authorities certainly have a lot of questions to answer about how this happened. And right now, authorities say, Lindsay, they just don't have the answers to what people are asking. Like, how is it possible that there were only about 200 officers here for 100,000 revelers? How is it possible that organizers didn't anticipate tens of thousands of revelers and the first Halloween festival with lower COVID restrictions? Now, here's what we do know this morning here. Every single fatality happened in that alleyway behind me. Some of them teens too young to even have an ID. Lindsay. Wow, Matt Gutman, our thanks to you. Tonight, with just nine.